Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. My name is Nikunj and today we will be reverse engineering the interactive reading question type of Duolingo English test. This will help us understand how to answer this question type and where do students normally lose marks. So, let's begin by understanding what interactive reading question type is. Interactive reading question typically appears during the second part of the test after completing read and select and fill in the blanks and just before interactive listening. In this question, you will be shown a paragraph and you will be asked multiple questions like select the missing word, select the best sentence, highlight the answer, select the idea expressed and select the title for the passage. Let's look at each one of them and see how you can make sure that you're not making any mistakes. Number one, select the missing word. In this task, you will see a passage with several blank spaces. If you click on the options on the right, you will be shown a drop down of multiple options and you need to select one based on what fits the sentence to make it correct and complete. It's very easy to make mistakes here as there are multiple words that fits in the blanks, but you need to make sure that which option makes it grammatically correct. Number two, select the best sentence. In this task, you will see two sections of passages with a missing space in the middle. On the right side, you will see list of options and you need to select the one which fits correctly between those two passages. Selecting the correct option here can be a bit tricky. What you need to do is you need to read the last line of the passage above and the first line of the passage below. This will help you get some idea as to which statement can accompany them. Number three, highlight the answer. In this task, you will see a question on the right side and you will be asked to highlight the sentence from the passage that answers that question. It is clearly directed by DET's team that you need to highlight only the answer to the question that is asked. You could potentially lose marks if you are highlighting anything more than that. Number four, select the idea expressed. In this task, you will be given four options on your right and you will have to select the one which best suits the idea that is expressed. You need to be very careful in this one as some of the options may be somewhat relevant, but you need to make sure that you select the one that best describes the passage. Number five, title the passage. Here, as the name suggests, you will be asked to select the title for the passage that you just read. Answering each one of these questions seems easy while you're doing so, but there is certain catch that might cause you to lose marks. On the certified test, this question type would be asked two times, unlike the regular practice test where it appears only once. This question type assesses your reading, literacy, and comprehension subscores. You will have around seven to eight minutes to complete the single interactive question type. Let's practice this question type together so that you can see how I answer these questions to get the highest possible marks. And as usual, we will be using my trusted practice platform when it comes to scoring the most, Dreamy DET. I am really amazed by the question bank that they have, which is regularly updated and for different difficulty level. You can use their vocabulary banks and flashcard to improve your command over English and ultimately score high. So let's begin interactive reading practice question number one.
Now let's move on to the interactive reading practice question number two. So far, so good. Let's begin the interactive reading practice question number three.
I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching it. And as always, I will meet you in the next one. All the best.